Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's learn about dinosaurs. Welcome explorers. I'm Max and this is my cuddly friend Lemon. We love dinosaurs. Part of my daddy's job is to learn all about them. Look at all the places he has been to dig for fossils. People who learn about dinosaurs are called paleontologists. They use things called fossils to find out what Earth was like before humans even existed. Fossils. Fossils are things that were left behind by animals or plants millions of years ago. Lots of fossils come from dinosaurs, which is how we know they existed. A dinosaur footprint. Fact stop. Fossils can be dinosaur footprints. Fossils can also be bones teeth or hair. Sometimes fossils are nests or even dinosaur poo. Fossils can tell us lots about dinosaurs. They can tell us how long ago dinosaurs were alive, where they lived, what they ate and what they might have looked like. Here are some fossils Daddy has found on his trips. A dinosaur skull, a dinosaur egg. Fact stop! Dinosaurs and humans have never lived on Earth at the same time. Everything we know about dinosaurs is what we have learned from their fossils. What is a dinosaur? Dinosaurs were real creatures that lived millions of years ago. No one has ever seen a dinosaur because they're extinct. That means that there are no living dinosaurs left anymore. Dinosaurs lived on Earth a long time before humans even existed. Dinosaurs were reptiles that came in lots of different shapes and sizes. Fact stop. Reptiles breathe air and have scaly skin. They lay eggs which their babies hatch from. Crocodiles, lizards and snakes are also kinds of reptiles. Habitats. Dinosaurs lived in lots of different places such as forests, deserts, swamps and near rivers. A forest, a river, swamp and a desert. Each place is known as a habitat. The land was very different back then and so was the weather. It was much warmer than it is on Earth today. What did dinosaurs eat? Some dinosaurs were carnivores. This means they ate meat. Some were herbivores, which means they ate plants. Some were omnivores and ate both meat and plants. Fact stop! Carnivores have sharp teeth for tearing meat. Herbivores have flat teeth for grinding up plants. I'm an omnivore. Are you a carnivore, a herbivore or an omnivore? Let's meet some dinosaurs. Allosaurus. Allosaurus had lots of teeth which used to fall out a lot and grow back. It had three fingers on the end of each arm. Teeth with jagged edges. Fact stop! It was 12 meters long and ate meat. That means it was a carnivore. Ankylosaurus used its special armor to protect itself from predators. It had rows of spikes down its back and horns on its head. Its tail was shaped like a club. Fact stop! It was seven meters long and only eight plants. That means it was a herbivore. Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus was so heavy that its feet had pads on to support its weight. It had a long tail that it used like a whip to protect itself. Fact stop! It was 21 meters long and ate plants. Herbivore. This dinosaur is also sometimes called a Brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus had a very long neck to help it eat leaves from the tops of trees. Its nostrils were above its eyes. Fact stop. It was 30 meters long and ate plants. Herbivore. Comsognathus. Comsognathus was one of the smallest known dinosaurs. It ran very quickly on two legs. Fact stop! It was 65 centimeters long and ate meat. 
That meant it was a carnivore. It was about the same size as a chicken. Diplodocus. Diplodocus had a very long neck, which it could hold out straight in front of it. It only had teeth at the front of its jaw. Backstop. It was 26 meters long and only ate plants. Herbivore. Iguanodon. Iguanodon had four hoofed fingers and a thumb spike. People think it had a very long tongue. Backstop. It was 10 meters long and only ate plants. Herbivore. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus lived in the water. It used its fins for swimming and had a long neck that moved from side to side to help it catch food. Backstop. It was four meters long and ate meat. Carnivore. Plesiosaurus was a reptile, but it wasn't actually a dinosaur. It was alive at the same time as the dinosaurs, though, and looked just like one. Pteranodon. Pteranodon had huge wings which helped it to soar through the air. It had a crest on the back of its head. Backstop. It had a five-meter wingspan, and it only ate meat. Carnivore. Pteranodon wasn't actually a dinosaur either. It was a flying reptile. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is the largest known meat-eating dinosaur. It had bones that grew out of its back. This was called its sail. Its nostrils were near its eyes. Backstop. It was 18 meters long and only ate meat. Carnivore. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus had bony plates along its back, which might have been used to control body heat. It had a long spiky tail to protect it from predators. Fact stop. It was nine meters long and only ate plants. Herbivore. Triceratops. Triceratops had three horns and a frill on top of its head for defending itself. It had a beak a bit like a parrot. Fact stop. It was nine meters long and only eight plants. Herbivore. Scientists think that its head might have been lots of different colors. Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex is often called T-Rex for short. T-Rex had 60 teeth that were so strong they could crush bone. It walked on two enormous back legs and had two small arms. Fact stop. It was 12 meters long and only ate meat. Carnivore. Velociraptor. Velociraptor had a very large claw on each foot. People think velociraptors were covered in feathers. Fact stop. It was two meters long and only ate meat. Carnivore. Prehistoric animals. Some of the types of animals that live on Earth now are thought to have existed at the same time as the dinosaurs. Crocodile, bee, snake, shark, platypus. Dinosaur relatives. Some of the dinosaurs evolved. This means that each new dinosaur was slightly different until they became a completely new animal. This happened over millions of years. Chicken, ostrich, turtle. Can you spot any similarities between these animals and dinosaurs? Now, let's have a look at some of these vocabulary words. In the glossary, armor, that's a hard covering to protect the body from being hurt. Beak, a hard curved or pointed mouth. Crest, a piece of bone that sticks up from the head. Earth. The planet that we live on. Extinct. When every single one of a certain type of living thing has died, leaving no more left. Fossils. Things that were left behind by animals or plants millions of years ago. Frill. A curved bone that sits on top of the head. Nostrils. Holes in the nose, used for breathing and smelling. Pads. Soft cushioned skin found on the bottom of feet. Paleontologist. That's a scientist who studies the fossils of animals and plants. Plates. Thin, flat pieces of bone. 
predators, animals that eat other animals, protect, keep safe from harm, relatives, animals that come from the same family, swamps, areas of land that are covered in mud and water, weight, how heavy or light something is, and wingspan, the distance from the tip of one wing to the other. I hope you enjoyed this book and uh, have learned a bit more about dinosaurs, though we didn't come across any uh, omnivores, did we? We came across uh, herbivores and carnivores. Thank you for listening and learning.